Okay, so today we'll be reviewing how to import images in one format on RoboFlow and export them in another. So at roboflow.com slash formats, we have all of our formats listed. And you can also look into examples of some of the annotation files and what they should look like. So we'll come over here and begin by creating a new workspace. So when you create a new workspace, you'll have the option to select public or a sandbox growth account. So those are for a sandbox growth if you're evaluating for uh, something of a proof of concept or needing a private environment. And then public is also completely free and has higher image limits to begin. So what you'll do here is just begin by creating a new project. So I'll call this one cat and then I'm going to add images of cats and doing this as a bounding box object detection project since the images were annotated in bounding box object detection format. So from here, you'll see my files have the annotation files in the folder, my train, my, all my train files and my valid files. This was exported from RoboFlow. So I'm going to upload these Coco JSON format annotations. And then you'll see the system process all of these images and then notify me whether they're annotated or if there are any that are not annotated. What you can see too is when you hover over images, you have the, the opportunity to, add, to say, hey, I don't want to include this image in the set. You can click finish uploading from here, then select if you want to use the existing values to train valid test, add all images to a certain set, or you can also split your images in the way that you'd like. And you can adjust these sliders as necessary. So hit continue here, and then my files will be uploaded. All right, upload complete. You can always add instructions to your annotation jobs too, if you need, uh, if you need to really guide your annotators. So as we'll go from here, we'll generate a version of the data set. Typically what I like to do is generate a raw version of the data set, so I have my original images, and I'll only keep auto-orient on there. What that'll do is discard the XF rotation, so if images were taken uh, from different devices or in different orientations. If we annotate them, then we want to just make sure we discard the XF data so that the annotations are native to the actual orientation that the, that the data was all annotated in. However, for this example, we'll be generating a version with augmentations. So let's say, hey, I want to add a flip augmentation here. So I do continue from here. And I can choose my augmentation size. In this case, I'll just do 2x, but you can do whichever sizes you need. Generate from here, and I'll just call this V1 cats. Okay, so now that we have our images fully generated, we are now able to export how we desire. So we import in Coco JSON format. We can export in any of these formats we have available here. So you can either download the zip folder to your computer, or you can do show download code. And once you do show download code, You'll have options of using our Python package if you want to use a, a notebook from models.roboflow.com here. Or instead, if you'd like to just extract the images programmatically with Python, you can also copy this into your own training scripts. You can also use the curl command or the raw URL to download your data set. 